What's going on everybody? Lambo here. I am just kind of playing around right now and I am working on a mod and I figured why not just hit record and share with you fellow people. And we're going to make a random hand tools mod. I want to start bringing guns and all the bad things into this game. So I'm just going to make a folder inside of my mods folder. Leave it open called Odd Hand Tools FS22. You can name your mod whatever. You could probably follow along and just apply it to your mod. So now that I got it open, I'm actually going to go back one and open up another, open this one up in a different window so then I can kind of show you how I go about doing it. <clears throat> Nothing in there. We're going to be building this mod from scratch. So in order to do that, I'm going to need my brand. So I'm going to bring my brand over. Uh, I'm going to need an i3D file. Probably some sounds. Gonna need some store images. Probably textures. And definitely gonna need the XML and a mod disk. What I just did, right? So whatever this mod is, I just copied everything over. And now I'm gonna go through and I actually know that I'm gonna keep my brand, but I'm not gonna keep that brand. And I'm just gonna delete almost everything like this has the boats in it and all that stuff I don't need that I just wanted the, the folder format same thing with sounds and really I should just hit save once I get this done and then I would have a pretty much working template I would say um, like I'll when I make this model I'll go through and make the store icons I haven't done anything yet Textures, I don't need none of this. So honestly, all this can get deleted. The XML. We're gonna copy and paste something from in-game. So I really don't need any of this. The only thing I really need in here besides the folders is this mod disk. So let's take a look at the mod disk now. Got this open and this has all the gunk in it from the mod I had before, right? So I'm gonna clean it out and this is probably what you're gonna do because that's what I did when I first started modding is I'm just gonna go through and change some stuff. And this is, what was the name of it? Odd Hand Tools, I didn't even remember. I, we're gonna put machine guns, whatever in there. But this is just to highlight the routes that I do. And I can go through and tidy up all this later on <laughs> whoops and i would go through and i'm going to leave the belt systems in there just so when we load it up it doesn't throw an error but we would go through and change that and change the image in there store items i'm going to delete all these but one and i don't quite 100 percent know on that so for the time being we're going to be doing some like chemistry experiments to see what we can install on a chainsaw and what we can't so we're gonna leave this vehicle store here normally if you're playing with chainsaws you remove that the brand this is referencing that folder I showed you earlier and there's nothing else really in here that's gonna mess it up uh, so now let's find the XML we want to copy from the in-game stuff and what I've done I've actually went in the farming simulator game data in the first-person chainsaw steel and I am just gonna copy over, make sure I copy it and don't move it, that. And then I'm also gonna, oh, I'm gonna right click on this, control C it, so I have the name. I'm gonna open this and then do a save as in this mod. I'll show you exactly what that kind of looks like. Because if I mess with the chainsaw here, it'll actually mess your game up. So what we want to do is do a save as, and then we're gonna locate that. Found the folder, there's the i3d right here, so we'll hit save in here. This is why I copy and pasted that name, and then we'll just hit save. And now we are not messing with the game files. We can sit here and tweak and see exactly how this chainsaw works, because really that's what modding is all about, is kind of science experiments. So we should go back to our mod disk now, and now we need to set up the store item file path. So that was steel, I do believe that was the name of it. 
and then let's locate it and open it up. That's it. Okay. Now this is all in game and it's not calling for the one that we just saved. So we need to make sure that it calls for that. And that's located right here, the file path. And I have mine saved in a folder called i3d. So now it's going to be reaching in and getting the model that I saved and not the in game one. Hope that works. Now let's take a peek at what exactly and how does this thing work? Because this is the very start of modding. I want to mess with the chainsaw. I don't even know how I can mess with it, but let's mess with it. I have taken a peek at it now and kind of we're going to run through how exactly the FS22 chainsaw works. For the most part, there's some of this cut focus, some of the stuff that FDR logging would know way more than me because I haven't built any logging mods, but you got your basics, your function, your store icon, your price, your brand, category, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we actually want to change this to my brand. That way I can find it. And then store icon. That's enough of the store data. We don't really want to mess with any of that right now. Hand tool type. It is a chainsaw. So, And then I also saw a wand, like a sprayer. This states where the hand nodes of the player are going to go. So if we were to change out the chainsaw and put a different chainsaw in there, we would use, it looks like the world, uh, like the local actual X, Y, and Zs to tell it where it is and how the hands are. So we would move things that way. Uh, there's a player work style preset. I've seen this in the other chainsaws as well. I'm imagining that there is some uh, built-in in-game code that has a certain speed or preset. I'm not sure on that one. That's a straight guess. Chainsaw quick tap threshold. All this stuff you can chain. I do believe this is what allows you to make it go faster or not. And honestly, we'll do some video in this video. <laughs> Target. I do believe this would be nice to boost this up because sometimes you have to get right up on the tree to cut it. So I do believe this target selection would be an easy way to make that bigger. Somebody's going to roast me for getting some of this wrong. I don't know what this equipment UV stuff is. Animation though, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. This is the chain that's scrolling. This whole, how fast it'll scroll. And because there's a negative, it's going in the reverse direction. Uh, and this is the particles that it emits. So honestly, we could make this thing just look like, rah, like a beast. When that ring selector pops up to make your cuts, you could change that out technically by changing this data right here and just rerouting it to your own chainsaw ring selector. So you could put like a skull and crossbones uh, and you just change out the texture. And this looks fun, changing the sounds, how to add sounds to it, how to adjust the sounds. You got all your different inner and outer radiuses, your pitches, and actually changing the file itself right there. So you could put your own thing in there. And it goes all the way down to here where it's work start. And then we got quick, set, quick tap sounds. Ooh. Changing that, active start, on load, off load. This is basically just all the sounds. And then look, so the sounds of the trees getting cut and falling are actually built into the chainsaws. Interesting. So when you hear that noise, it's actually coming from the chainsaw, not from the tree you're cutting. And that looks about it. Uh, hopefully we can play with this a little bit. And, and to be honest, I think we should get the wand and bring the wand in as well. So let's bring in the wand right now and kind of analyze the code there and see what we can play with. Holy Moses, it took like 15 minutes to find it. It is under Placeables, Karcher, HDS 918-4A, first person. And basically it is this pressure washer, but what it does is it, in its code, it calls for a workable XML and wand. So this is actually how I made the fire hose for FS19. So once again, we're just gonna copy it over and then we're gonna get the name of this. Open it up, save, do the whole process there. And then we will look at the code of the lamps. 
Now I have the lance open, and one thing you will notice different right off the bat with this is A, it doesn't have an image because it's not buyable in store, even though it could be, and buy and sell it, show it in the store. Now if we change this to true, you can now buy this lance in the store and spray it, just like all that fun stuff. Now what we wanna do, because we're gonna make some edits and make this thing like blow fire, I know it sounds a little crazy, but it's totally possible. We are gonna make sure that it is going to the right place. So do our i3d dash, because we just saved that in there. And kind of the same little ordeal, you got your hand node placement. Uh, here's the high pressure lance, right? This is the different effects. One is gonna be a chainsaw effect, and this one is gonna give you water, like material type washer effect. But particle type water washer amount scale. And we could change that, we could make it to where it blows wood chips whatever it looks like uh, this is just the effects here and some sounds basics and this looks like this is running targets for the hands here and running uh, this IK chain right here left arm this means it probably shows your arm in front of you holding it and that's pretty much it so now this is viable so you could turn this into a mobile pressure washer if you really wanted to yeah that's the that's the code there and i actually let's see effect no particle type class now this one doesn't call for any i3ds unlike this one where we can easily inject in something but sometimes do you see how they use this file tag right here Sometimes you can go through and replace things. Um, like right here where it says template, we could put file in there and then we would put our file name for our sound that we wanted to play. Unfortunately, I don't see it here. It, w it was a lot easier in uh, FS19. I could make things blow fire, but this game makes it really hard with particles. They have a lot of built-in stuff, maybe one day. But since we've added that in, we need to also make sure that our mod disk recognizes it now, because if you don't put it in your mod disk, it isn't gonna show up in game. So now we got boop, that in there. Hit save. I'm just gonna change the brand so I know mine like usual. All right, I, I'm just gonna load it up and see if it works just like uh, there's a secret trick to reloading your vehicle without unzipping everything and see if we can sit there and play with it and see if we can get the chainsaw to work faster and all that kind of stuff price per minute Ooh, so you could change the price here to where it wouldn't cost anything or make it cost a lot or wash stuff from across the map turn it to like 20 all right let's load it up in game and check it out she's loaded and you can even see her in the store already I haven't done any of the icons or anything, so it looks real bank, but we're just going to buy it. Look at the errors here, make sure nothing pops off at us. It shouldn't. All right. So now we should be able to exit here. And I have a wand. If this works. Anyway. makes me walk a little bit slower when I have it equipped but you can make that stream way crazy you can change the effect type now let's see if we can play with the effects I'm gonna take crusher wood from like a woodcutter and just see if we can spray it and reload it so I do believe let me uh, make sure the codes here all right we're back in the game I had to restart the bad boy uh, apparently I cannot do any of the cool little updates that you can do while in game to try to get it But I have changed it to wood chips. So let's give her a shot <laughs> I didn't change the water one of the water particles, but I did change the stream So now we're spraying wood chips everywhere Granted it doesn't like spit wood chips. It just shows the animations And I have a fire texture somewhere. I kind of want to make like a World War two backpack that's checking that out. 
And here's the chainsaw. We really didn't do much changes to it. So possibly nothing really to show you. Maybe we'll do another video. This one's already pretty long. But I was just kind of showing you the basics of how all these things kind of work a little bit. And I'll probably do another video about the chainsaw. I know I promised I said I would, but... Oh, screw it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button.